and we can know with confidence that the Lord is actually listening to our prayers. Guys, Jesus prayed all the time. He was saturated in prayer. He was saturated in prayer, talking to God all the time. He would leave his disciples for hours, days at a time, and he would be praying to his Father in heaven. If Jesus relied on prayer, we can rely on prayer, okay? We should be relying on prayer. And like I said, we do have a God that is actually listening to our prayers. I know that takes a lot of faith. I know it takes a lot of faith to believe that. But the truth is, is that that is what, that's the foundation of being a Christian, is faith, faith. We have we have at our disposal a God that not only claims that he is praying for us, Jesus said, I am praying for my people. I am praying, I am intercessing for them. So we know that God is praying for us, okay? How incredible is that? The Lord is actually praying and intercessing in your life. That is a promise, that is a promise. So we, if, if Jesus, relied on prayer, we must too rely on prayer. And, you know, I'm going to admit to you guys, I had a problem really praying all the time because my faith was lacking. This was a few years back. My faith was lacking. I didn't really feel like if I prayed, whether it was out loud or in my head or, you know, on my knees, it didn't matter. I just didn't, wasn't truly confident that that my Lord was listening to me, that the creator of the universe, the Abba, Father, beginning, middle, and end of all creation was actually listening to me. But then something started to happen inside my soul and something started to shift. And I started looking around and seeing like birds. I mean, hello, let's just take birds for a second. Let's just take birds. Let's look at their feathers for a second and the different hues that are inside their feathers and how it's luminescent and how they sing and their beaks and how they fly. Birds fly. Hello. And then let's look at a flower. How delicate. They have a scent. Flowers have a scent. You stick your nose in there and you get this whiff of like heaven. What? Guys, there is a God. There is a God that created all of that and created you. Created you, created me, created Pokey. So yeah, the God of all creation is listening to our prayers, is listening to our prayers. He died and rose again. Died and rose again on the third day. Yeah. We have a God who is resurrected and at the right hand of the Father and who was here before time even began. Now, I know for a lot of people, especially if you're really new in the Lord, that's hard to wrap your, it's hard for me. It's hard to wrap your head around that. But it's true, it is the truth. It is the truth, it's in scripture. It is the gospel of Jesus Christ. He is risen and he did that for a reason. He did that for a reason, to conquer death, to conquer the devil, to conquer the world, because he needed to prove that he is eternal and that you are eternal. I am eternal, eternal. We're gonna live forever. We come from 100% pure love and we are going to return to 100% pure love. We are going to return to the father of the lights. It's a lot, I know it's a lot. I'm here to tell you I know that what I'm saying is extraordinary and extreme. But guess what? It's the truth. It is the truth. He is Christ. He is the Son of God. He's the child of God. Yeah. And he came to planet Earth on a mission to die for us, to die for our sin, and to be our Father who is faithful. And when I say faithful, I mean that he's never, ever going to abandon us. He's here for us. And he's, um, I always forget what that is, that one thing. 
oh, this is gonna be edited out, but I'm just trying to think that one thing that uh, never uh, forsake us. Forsake us! The Lord is never going to forsake us. Never going to forsake us nor abandon us. He is here. We have somebody who is truly, truly our God, our Father and our protector, our shield. It's Jesus.